hello everyone and welcome in another arduino tutorial in this tutorial we are going to interface lm35 to cn centigrade temperature sensor with arduino the lm35 5 is directly calibrated for giving the temperature in celsius and it is linear and it changes per degree centigrade and the output will be a 10 millivolt to cn per centigrade and the 0.5 degree centigrade ensured accuracy at 25 degree centigrade and uh, this can read minus 55 degree centigrade up to 150 degree centigrade so this is suitable for remote application and uh, it operates from 4 volt to 30 volt and uh, it has 60 micro ampere current drain and uh, self-heating 0.08 degree centigrade in still air so if we want to interface this temperature sensor all we need is an adc fortunately fortunately our arduino have built an adc so let's get started now let's create a simulation file and for the simulation uh, we are using the proteus software and uh, the model which i'm using is uh, proteus 7 and if we place one arduino we will select one arduino uno and lm35 and here it is minus 55 to 150 degree centigrade and uh, one more thing we need an lcd which is 16 by 2 so 16 by 2 alphanumeric lcd uh, all we need this and we place an arduino here and let's grab one lcd and put the lcd here let's interface the uh, 7 to 7 d7 to d7 and 6 to 6 5 to 5 pin number 5 and 4 to pin number 4 and uh, next we need a ground to place it on a read write pin and the enable pin will be attached uh, i'm going to attach the enable pin with the pin number eight and the rs pin i'm going to attach the rs pin to the pin number nine the next thing we need to add an lm35 lm35 has three pin and the one, first pin is for positive vcc and we will attach a positive vcc to this and uh, here is a power section and we will add a power here and the ground and we put the pin uh, ground to the pin number three and for the pin number two we need to add it to the analog input and uh, we are going to add this with the let's uh, swap, uh, swap the directions like this uh, and uh, that's mirror uh, so that we can add the a0 so here we have this simulation for proteus and uh, let's create the code now let's write a code and before writing the code make sure in the preference that you enable the verbose for uh, compilation and uploading so uh, coming here first of all we are going to initialize a serial dot port to check out that our uh, reading is uh, properly working and uh, let's add a delay to properly initialize the serial port after that let's uh, read a temperature value raw val and uh, let's initialize it to zero and uh, temp well is equal to zero these two variables will hold over raw analog value and converted uh, degree centigrade of temperature and uh, in down here let's first of all read a raw analog input analog read to a zero and after that uh, let's uh, print the serial dot print line raw well so that's all let's save this sketch of whatever name you like and uh, add a little bit delay before you read the next reading and uh, let's add this delay of 1000 millisecond and after that press ctrl r or push this button to compile the code 
you need to wait for the compilation to be done and once it's done you need to grab the uh, location of the hex file or elf file and you need to put that elf file in your proteus iis simulation and um, let's grab this address of elf file this is the temp folder where your hex or elf file is stored for the Arduino and uh, let's select and copy and put it here and once you place this your hex file you are because we printed on the virtual terminal so we need we need to add place a virtual terminal here and uh, we are only transmitting so we just need one pin and we will place it here and if we press the play button we will see the output in the virtual terminal so it is 56 uh, it is giving the reading of 56 but over a uh, temperature is 27 degree and if we increase 28 it will change to the 58 degree so we need to convert this reading to the proper temperature reading how we will do that for that let's go back to your code and map this value because the reading is a uh, precision uh, to the 10 millivolts so we will reading the 5000 uh, millivolts so we need to read the 500 volts so we will use the map function we will place the raw value as a first argument and for the second argument the value is 0 and 123 so the raw value will uh, be ranging from 0 to 1023 which is a 10 bit value and uh, we, the required value is 0 to 500 so if we map this value like this over a converted value will be the uh, should be corrected temperature in uh, degree centigrade so let's uh, compile again and go back to the proteus and hit a play button so now we have a correct temperature reading on over virtual terminal so the, if we increase the value it will increase the value here as well and if we decrease the value it will decrease the value here as well so that's for the temperature calibration now go back to your uh, sketch and add an lcd to your code now we are going to add a liquid crystal display and for that we open up the example and in the liquid crystal display we open up the hello world example and here is a hello world example we need to grab these lines and include in it into over a code coming back to over code file we added these lines and we also changed the pin numbers according to our configurations and after that we need to begin this lcd into over uh, setup and for we will call the lcd dot uh, uh, begin function and 16 by 2 lcd is the number and uh, basically it is 16 character and two lines and we will print a string uh, with the uh, lm35 reading you can put whatever you like and uh, that's all for lcd initialization let's add uh, compile the code and see the effect of LCD on your simulation go back to the simulation and hit the play button and move your cursor to the hair and see LM35 reading is printed as well so now go back to your sketch and uh, print that reading on your uh, let's move the cursor to the second line and uh, print the value of the temperature on the LCD second line and let's uh, 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 the sorry the column 10th column and the second row and LCD dot print temp well so that's all for the temperature readings let's compile and go back to the simulation and see the result on your LCD so here the reading is 27 and let's change the temperature here and come back to the LCD see here it is displaying the 30 degree and here is the 30 as well 
so that's all for today's tutorial here you learn the lm35 interfacing and displaying the temperature to the lcd so don't forget to subscribe and share see you in the next video thank you so much